Hi guys, Crystal here from Crystico Design. I am going to show you how to make this lacy skinny scarf with uh, some comfy worsted yarn from We Crochet. This is a 109 yard ball and you're going to need two of these, so about 200 yards. I'm using my five millimeter. This is my Peach Odyssey. We're gonna start by chaining 23. You can adjust this, uh, will be the width of your scarf, so any width you like, you can adjust it by doing a chain that is a multiple of three, so like three, six, nine, plus five more stitches for the starting chain. Okay, so we're gonna start with a chain of 23 Now I am going to double crochet in the fourth chain from my hook. So I will count back one, two, three, four. Okay, so yarn over, insert my hook, and finish my double crochet. So for this pattern, these skipped stitches will count as our first double crochet, and then we just made our second one. Now I'm going to skip a chain, this one, and I'm gonna work into the next chain. And in this chain, I'm gonna place a double crochet. Then I'm going to chain three and double crochet back in that same chain again. So all in the same chain, I've double crochet, chain three, double crochet. Now I'm going to repeat that, but I'm gonna skip two chains and in the third one, I am going to double crochet. Chain three. And double crochet back in that same position. Hold on, let's put my arm. Just keep repeating that across until we have three chains left. Skip two. Double crochet. Chain three. Double crochet. Skip two. There we go. Skip two. Okay, when we have just three chains left, then we're gonna skip one, double crochet, double crochet, in the last two. Okay, so now we are going to turn our work. 
And for row two, we're going to start with the chain four. We're going to skip these two. And in this chain three space, we are going to work double crochet, chain three, and double crochet. So we are stacking our V arches there. This counts here as two stitches or chain three and the fourth chain counts as a chain. Okay, so we're gonna keep repeating that across. So we will skip these double crochets and work into the third chain, uh, the three chains. So with a double crochet, chain three, double crochet. Okay, so at the very end here, our last three stitches, we are going to chain one and then skip these two. And in the top of the chain there, we are going to place our last double crochet. All right, and that is row two. And we're gonna continue stacking. So for row three, when we turn here, we're gonna chain four, which counts again as our first double crochet. You can also use a chain three alternative and do a chain one. So there's my chain three alternative. Chain one, skip, and then we're going to work our stitches in those three chains there. Double crochet, chain three, back into the same space, double crochet. And keep repeating that across. Okay, when we get to the end again, we have our, our last double crochet here of our V arch that we skip. And then we have our chain one and our chain three for our chain one and our double crochet stitch. So we're gonna skip this one. We're skipping these two, chain one, and then double crochet in the third, third chain there. Or the top of the double crochet uh, alternative if you use those. You can use either for this lacy pattern. The chains work quite well. So that's the chain three and that's the alternative there. You can see this one leaves a bigger gap. So up to you. And that's it. We're just gonna keep repeating this one row for the length of your scarf. All right, so for our last row, since we have this increasing stitch to keep it from doing too much 
widening after we finish up, I am going to first start with my chain three alternative and then we're going to double crochet in the next chain space and set it to mimic our beginning starting row. Now instead of doing three chains here, we're just going to do a double crochet V stitch with one chain in the chain three space and this will help tighten up that ending row. Skip these two just like we've been doing. Double crochet, chain one, double crochet back in the same place. I'm going to repeat that across ending with two double crochets in the last two stitches. Double crochet in this chain one space and double crochet in the last. Okay, so that way it kind of brings our edge in and it won't be expanding and widening up there too much and we can add our fringe and it will more closely mirror our beginning edge. All right, so I'm going to add my fringe to the end of my scarf and I want it to be finished about like that. And I'm showing you like this so that you can change yours to any size you want. So that is about five and a half. All right, so we'll go finished six inches. So I'm going to double that amount so that once I'm finished and I pull it through, it's uh, six inches hanging. So I'm going to go with 12 inch lengths. So I'm just going to set up my little fringe making station here. I will need my hook. I've got my scissors. All right. So I am going to do two per stitch and so then like so and I will I'm gonna start on this end. Take those pull it through and I use my fingers like that. And if I'm happy with the way that looks, then I'll just keep doing that. So we'll go with 12 inch strips, and I think I am. And I can always shorten them if I want, but I can't make them longer. So I like to start off with the test and, uh, and then just snip away. 